let's take the next question find the maximum power that can be transmitted through a 50 mm diameter shaft at 150 rpm if maximum permissible shear stress is 80 newton per mm square again we have a question here let us try to write the data first here the question is find the maximum power so capital p is what we have to calculate that can be transmitted through a 50 mm diameter shaft the diameter of the shaft is 50 50 mm so it is a solid shaft at 150 rpm speed is given if maximum permissible shear stress is 80 newton per mm square so fs value is 80 newton per millimeter square so this is the question and the data we have written let us start with the solution for this solution since power is asked i'll write the equation of power that since power transmitted by shaft is given by P is equal to 2 pi nt by 60. I will keep this as my equation number 1. Now as we see power is asked 2 pi and 60 they are constants. RPM is given 150. Only unknown is capital D that is torque. So if we can get the value of torque we will put all values in equation 1 and get the answer of power. So now let us try to solve or try to get the answer for this torque since fs is given we will use the strength criteria by strength criteria t upon j is equal to fs upon r i am using this criteria because fs is given therefore t upon j value is pi by 32 d raised to 4 and diameter is 50 here so 50 raised to 4 is equal to fs is given as 80 in the question radius is diameter by 2 diameter is 50 so here i have 50 by 2 as radius into bracket i will write down since j is equal to pi by 32 capital d raised to 4 so therefore i will get t is equal to if i cancel the terms on left hand side and right hand side here 150 gets cancelled and here 150 so cube is left then here two ones are and here this is 16 so after the cancellation i'll get this as pi by 16 into 50 cube multiplied by 80 so from this i will get my answer of torque as 1.963 into 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter now since we have to find power and power is in watts so we should keep the torque in newton meter so i'll say that after dividing this by 1000 it becomes 1.963 into 10 raised to 3 newton meter so here as we see in the equation number one we have found all the values i'll say that put all values in equation number one so therefore in equation one we have power p is equal to 2 pi n n is 150 so p is equal to 2 pi into 150 multiplied by t the torque value which we have got it is 1.963 into 10 raised to 3 so this is 2 pi nt divided by 60 so from this i will be getting the answer of power as 30 point 
into 10 raised to 3 watts or I can write this as 30.84 dividing this by 1000 that becomes 30.84 kilowatts and here I have found the value of power which was asked in the question and with this we complete this question.